Welcome to this virtual studio, Sundargarh. Dear children, this is time for the questions and some discussion on the poem from the formalin jar written by Dr. Rita Ash Mani. So in the previous class, we have already discussed on the poem. Today, we shall be discussing the question answers. So, if you now we will proceed to the smart board and we will, and we will see the questions uh, step by step. There are 26 questions under Let's Understand the Poem. So, for this, actually, you have to go to the poem again and again. You have to read the question, try to understand the question, and to find out the answer to the question, you have to go to the poem. So there are questions and answers are in the poem. You have to find out, you have to scan the particular answer to the question. Question number one, what's the poem about? Obviously the answer to the question, the poem is about uh, Vicky's rule accident. Where is Vicky's brilliant brain? Question number two. So as you know, it is uh, put in the formalin jar in the Museum of Nimans. Why is the brain put inside the formalin jar? Question number three. We have to answer to this question. Number four. Who does I refer to in the poem? In the first stanza, you see this uh, pronoun I. Obviously, it refers to Biki. Now, likewise, actually, uh, questions proceed from 1 to 26. So, in the first uh, slide, there are 10 questions. Question number 10, what was the motto of his life? So, to find out this answer to this question, you have to go to stanza number 3. The motto in life was no pen, no gain. Then, question number 11, was Vicky good at studies? Obviously, yes. How do you know? As you know, in the stanza number 3, computationness were his domain. This is the line exactly given in the poem, in the third stanza. So likewise, uh, question number 12, Vicky left his parents. Which line says so? So if you go to question, uh, stanza number 4, in the first line, you get the answer to this question. So next question number 15, who was Lauren? Why did he steal a glance at her? Obviously, Lauren, as you know, it's the name of a young girl. So, you know, young girl, prati jete vada tar nojar ta pori jai chi. Se, ti mai, se, paravarti question re, 16 re, tar heart ta beat kori chi, thar thar hai chi. Question number 20, why did he go to his friend? It is an inferential question, so to this question also you can answer mundane task, mundane task. Poem, the fifth stanza, the first line, on a wait monsoon day for a task mundane. It is the answer. Question number 18, where was Vicky riding? Very simple question to his friend. When timed on a monsoon uh, wet day, on a wet monsoon day, fifth stanza or first line rate actually. So likewise, uh, question number 26, last question, just slide row. Suggest some ways to reduce RTI, road traffic injuries. So it are to make it suggest the kori paribo, kimti ame, you accident ago reduce kori pariba. जो इंजुरी सोची, जो डेथ होची, ये उड़ा को रिड्यूस तले सेट है बेटर। तापरे पिला मने हमें जब आप पेज नंबर 93 रे जो अच्छी लार्ड्स अप्रिशिएट द पोइम। सो देर आर 15 क्वेश्चंस हियर। नंबर वन, हु डोनेटेड बिकिस ब्रेन टू द मेडिकल कॉलेज। अच्छा ये प्रश्न का उत्तर सीधा सड़क को बजरे नहीं। तुम्हें � किए गई थी तार ब्रेन टा कुछ मेडिकल कॉलेज को से जो निमांस रे तापरे हाउ इज इट प्रिजर्व्ड एंड यूज्ड ऐटा भी सही तरह अच्छी टिके तो मैं चेस्टा करे पाई हो व्हाट डस द लाइन ऑन डिस्प्ले टू प्रमोट नॉलेज गेन एक्सप्रेस ऐटा को तुमको कहीं वो पड़ी हो जे तार माने टा कौन हो ऑन डिस्प्ले टू प्रमो 
how was the brilliant brain a part of a hum, living being living human two years ago so for this actually you know flashback technique bhi bevar kara jai chi kavita re to eta du varsha purbe se he was very strong he was very active he was a lively eta sabu achi kavita re tumhe jani paribo lekhi paribo tapare what does the phrase yet ended up in this jar eta museum re rakhi diya gala formalin jar re से जिन लिखे पड़ो सो लाइक वाइज क्वेश्चन आर दे आर क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन फाइन द रिंग वार्डस इन द पोएम यू तुम देख के रईम करूल पड़ू ब्रेन दिस डेन गेन अगेन स्पेसीमेन ह्यूमेन विदिन सग्रीन सेन रेन डोमेन गेन एम टाइप रही आराम से तुम कर तापर पिला माने आमे जिबा लेट्स लिसन एंड स्पीक एट को जिबा एथिरे पिला माने देयर आर स्टेटमेंट्स सम स्टेटमेंट्स सम सेंटेंसेस अबाउट द पोएम हाउ मेनी सेंटेंसेस आर देयर देयर आर 13 सेंटेंसेस सो यू हैव टू रीड द सेंटेंस एंड देन से व्हेदर दे आर राइट और रॉन्ग If the statement is right, you have to say right. If the statement is wrong, you have to say wrong. Bikis Brain was sitting in the formalin jar with pleasure and respect. Right or wrong? Obviously wrong. The brain, the brain didn't like the people staring at him. Right. The brain felt insulted to be a specimen for others. Right. Bikki was a strong and stout young man. Right. He was good at math and computer. Right. He believed in to, uh, taking pain to succeed in life. Right. He liked neither his grandmother nor his wrinkles and stick. That are wrong. Am I able to catch you? Can you tell me? Then the next slide we will see. Pronounce the words correctly. Here are a few words taken from the poem. You have to produce. You have to articulate. You have to say the words aloud correctly. So I am just uh, saying the words aloud. You have to listen and practice back at home. Disdain, gain, again, human, sane, rain, insane, can, explain, mundane, refrain, in vain, pain, bane, in vain. This was. You have to practice. Then, in the next slide, it's based on writing. Actually, you see a matrix here. Actually, a table where there are three columns: real number, the no offence, and then penalty. So, if you violate uh, these uh, rules uh, of traffic, and if you make mistake uh, while driving, so you know there is penalty. So you must be punished. So traveling without ticket five hundred rupees, driving without license five thousand, without DL jodi drive karibo five thousand toh penalty. Drinking kori kore drive karibo ten thousand, without seat belt one thousand, without helmet one thousand. Empty, ata motor vehicle sector bato mane jo penalty hai gera ni. So eoda kar pura table de deshi eoda mano rakhiwo. Even tapere based on this have to write sentences. As per the motor vehicle sector. If you ride a bike without license, you will have to pay a fine of Rs. five thousand. In the without uh, helmet one thousand, without seat belt one thousand, over speeding one thousand or two thousand, driving without insurance two thousand. So you have to write one sentence at least based on each uh, uh, penalty given in this matrix or table. Then in this um, B, it will be writing a base curriculum. Achi activity da. It will be like a little traffic symbol. Gorada ko achi. A symbol gorada ko mana rakhiwa. Tapre you have to write one sentence for each. Pratik symbol pa gote gote. So my sentence lakhiwa. Yanti ki gote kori diya jai chhi. If the first symbol indicates that there is a right hand curve ahead. देखो तापर दि सेकेंड सिंबल इंडिकेट्स दैट देयर इज लेफ्ट हैंड हैंड कॉर्प अहेड 
ଏଇ ଟାଇପ୍ ର ତା ମାନେ ଗୋଟେ ଗୋଟେ ତୁମେ ସେଣ୍ଟେନ୍ସ ଟେ ଲେଖିବ ସି ଇନ୍ ଦ ଫାଷ୍ଟ ଲାଇନ ରେ ଦେଖ ଦେର ଆର ଫାଇଭ ସିମ୍ବଲ୍ସ ଇନ୍ ଦ ସେକେଣ୍ଡ ଲାଇନ ଦେର ଆର ଏଗେନ ଫାଇଭ ସିମ୍ବଲ୍ସ କୋଉଠି ନେରୋ ଆଡ ଅଛି ଦେଖ ଚାର ନମ୍ବର ସିମ୍ବଲ ଟା ସେକେଣ୍ଡ ଲାଇନ ର ତାପରେ ନେରୋ ଯଦି ଅଛି ଖାଲି ତାହେଲେ ସେଇଟା ବି ତୁମେ ଦେଖ କୋଉଟା ସ୍ଲିପରି ଅଛି କୋଉଟା ସାଇକେଲ କ୍ରସିଂ କୋଉଟା ପେଜେଷ୍ଟ୍ରିଏନ ଯୋଉମାନେ ପାଦରେ ଚାଲି ଚାଲି ଯାଆନ୍ତି ସେଇଥିପାଇଁ ଏଇ ସିମ୍ବଲ ଗୁଡାକ ଯୋଉଟା ଆମର ଭେରି ଇମ୍ପୋର୍ଟାଣ୍ଟ ଏଇ ସିମ୍ବଲ ଗୁଡାକ ତୁମେ ମନେ ରଖିକିରି ୟୁ ହାଭ ଟୁ ରାଇଟ ଆଟଲିଷ୍ଟ ୱାନ ସେଣ୍ଟେନ୍ସ ଏଗେନଷ୍ଟ ୱାନ ସିମ୍ବଲ ଇଚ ଏଇଟା ବି ସେମିତି ଯଦି ତମର ଷ୍ଟଫ ମନେକର ମାନେ ସେଠି ଷ୍ଟଫ ୟୁ ହାଭ ଟୁ ଷ୍ଟଫ ଦେୟାର ଗିଭ ୱେ ୱାନ ୱେ ସେଟା ରାସ୍ତାଟା ନୋ ଏଣ୍ଟ୍ରି ମାନେ ସେଠି ଆଉ ତୁମେ ଯାଇପାରିବ ନାହିଁ ୱାନ ୱେ ତାପରେ ୱାନ ୱେ ବୋଥ ଡିରେକ୍ସନ ରାଇଟ ଟର୍ନ ପ୍ରୋଭିଟେଡ ମାନେ ଡାହାଣକୁ ଯାଇପାରିବ ନାହିଁ ଲେଫ୍ଟ ଟର୍ନ ପ୍ରୋଭିଟେଡ ବାମ ପଟି ଯିବାଟା ନିଷିଦ୍ଧ ସୋ ଏମିତି ୟୁ ଟର୍ନ ପ୍ରୋଭିଟେଡ ଗୋଟେ ଅଛି ଦେଖ ୟୁ ଟର୍ନ ପ୍ରୋଭିଟେଡ ଟା ମାନେ ଏଇ ୟୁ ଟର୍ନ ସେଟା ତା ମାନେ ନିଷିଦ୍ଧ ଓଭରଟେକିଂ ପ୍ରୋଭିଟେଡ ଓଭରଟେକ କରିପାରିବ ନାହିଁ ସେଥିପାଇଁ ସେ ସିମ୍ବଲ ଟା ଦେଇଦେଲା ଯୋଉ ସ୍କୁଲ ମେଡିକାଲ ଫେଡିକାଲ ଏସବୁ ଥାଏ ଦେଖିବ ସେଠି ହର୍ମସ ପ୍ରୋଭିଟେଡ ଏଇ ସିମ୍ବଲ ଟା ଥାଏ ସୋ ସେଇଟା ଧ୍ୟାନ ଦେବାର ଅଛି ସ୍ପିଡ ଲିମିଟ ମାନେ ଏତିକି ରୁ ତୁମେ ଏକ୍ସିଟ କରିବ ନାହିଁ ତୁମର ଗାଡି ଚାଳନା କଲାବେଳେ ସିକ୍ସଟି ଫାଇଭ କିଲୋମିଟର ପର ଆୱାର କମ୍ପଲସରି ଟର୍ନ ଲେଫ୍ଟ କମ୍ପଲସରି ହେଡ ଓନଲି କମ୍ପଲସରି ଟର୍ନ ରାଇଟ ହେଡ ଏମିତି ସିମ୍ବଲ ଗୁଡାକ ଅଛି ପିଲାମାନେ ଏଇଟା ତୁମେ ଟିକେ ମନେ ରଖିବ ଏଣ୍ଡ ୟୁ ହାଭ ଟୁ ରାଇଟ ୱାନ ସେଣ୍ଟେନ୍ସ ଏଗେନଷ୍ଟ ଇଚ ସିମ୍ବଲ ଓକେ ଦେନ ୱିଲ ପ୍ରୋସିଡ ଟୁ ଦ ନେକ୍ସଟ ଲାଇଟ ଦିସ ଲାଷ୍ଟ ଆକ୍ଚୁଆଲି ୟୋର ଟପିକ ଦିସ ଇଜ ଅଲସୋ ବେଷ୍ଟ ଅନ ରାଇଟିଂ ଇଜ ରିପୋର୍ଟ ରାଇଟିଂ ଇମାଜିନ ଦଟ ୟୁ ଆର ଏ ରିପୋର୍ଟର ଅଫ ଦ ଟିଓଆଇ ଟିଓଆଇ ଏଟା ତମେ ଜାଣିଛ ଗୋଟେ ଖବର କାଗଜର ନା ଇଂରାଜୀ ଦ ଟାଇମ୍ସ ଅଫ ଇଣ୍ଡିଆ ସୋ ଇନ ଭୁବନେଶ୍ୱର ୱି ହାଭ ଟୁ ରାଇଟ ରିପୋର୍ଟ ପରୀକ୍ଷାରେ ପଢେ ପିଲାମାନେ ତମ ରିପୋର୍ଟ ରାଇଟିଂ ତ ଏଟକୁ ତମେ ଗୋଟେ ରିପୋର୍ଟ ରାଇଟିଂ କରିବ ବେଷ୍ଟ ଅନ ଦ ଇନସିଡେଣ୍ଟ ଅର କଣ୍ଟେନ୍ସ ଅଫ ଦ ପଏଣ୍ଟ ଫ୍ରମ ଦ ଫର୍ମାଲ ଇଞ୍ଜିନିୟର ଫର ଦ ନ୍ୟୁଜ ପେପର ସଜେଷ୍ଟ ସମ ୱେଜ ଟୁ ଚେକ ରୋଡ ଆକ୍ସିଡେଣ୍ଟସ ଏଣ୍ଡ ଆଡଭାଇସ ୟଙ୍ଗ ଚିଲଡ୍ରେନ ଟୁ ବି କେୟରଫୁଲ ଅବାଉଟ ଦ ଟ୍ରାଫିକ ରୁଲ୍ସ ସୋ ତମେ ଟ୍ରାଫିକ ରୁଲ ବାବଦରେ କେୟରଫୁଲ ହେବା ପାଇଁ ୟଙ୍ଗ ଚିଲଡ୍ରେନ ମାନଙ୍କୁ ଗୋଟେ ଆଡଭାଇସ ଦବ ସେଥିପାଇଁ ଗୋଟେ ରିପୋର୍ଟ ଟେ ଲେଖୁଛ ଏବଂ ସେ ରିପୋର୍ଟ ଟା କାହାକୁ ପଠେଇବ ଟିଓଆଇ ଏଡିଟର କୁ ପଠେଇବ ଟୁ ଦ ଏଡିଟର ଦ ଟାଇମ୍ସ ଅଫ ଇଣ୍ଡିଆ ଭୁବନେଶ୍ୱର ସେଟା ସେ ଟିଓଆଇ ବାଲା ପାଇଗଲେ ସେମାନେ ସେଟା ପେପର ରେ ବାହାର କରିବେ ସୋ ଏଇଟା ପିଲାମାନେ ଏ ଯେଉଁ ଲିମିଟ ଟା ରିପୋର୍ଟ ରାଇଟିଂ ର ସିକ୍ସଟି ଟୁ ସେଭେଣ୍ଟି ୱାର୍ଡସ ଭିତରେ ସୋ ଦିସ ଇଜ ଅଲସୋ ଭେରି ଇମ୍ପୋର୍ଟାଣ୍ଟ ଫ୍ରମ ଦ ଏକ୍ଜାମିନେସନ ପଏଣ୍ଟ ଅଫ ଭିଉ ସୋ ୟୁ ହାଭ ଟୁ ପ୍ରାକ୍ଟିସ ଦିସ ୟୁ ହାଭ ଟୁ ରାଇଟ ଦିସ ଏଇଟା ଜଷ୍ଟ ଗୋଟେ ତମର ଯେଉଁ ତାର ଫର୍ମାଟ ଟା ରିପୋର୍ଟ ରାଇଟିଂ ରେ ଆମେ ତୁମକୁ କହିଛୁ ସେଇ ଫର୍ମାଟ ରେ ହିଁ ତୁମକୁ ଲେଖା ପଡିବ ଯେମିତି କି ପ୍ଲେସ ଡେଟ ମନ୍ଥ ଇୟର ରହିବ ଟାଇଟିଲ ରହିବ ଟାଇଟିଲ ପରେ ଇନସିଡେଣ୍ଟ ଏଇ ଯେଉଁ ଏଇଟା ପାରାଗ୍ରାଫ ଟା ରହିବ ଯେଉଁଟାକି ଡେସ୍କ୍ରାଇବିଂ ଅନ୍ ଦ ହାଉ ଟୁ ବି କେୟାରଫୁଲ ଅବାଉଟ ଦ ଟ୍ରାଫିକ ରୁଲ୍ସ ହାଉ ୟୁ ଗିଭ ମେସେଜ ଟୁ ଦ ୟଙ୍ଗ ଚିଲଡ୍ରେନ ସେଇଟା ଲେଖିବ ତ ପିଲାମାନେ ଏଇଟା ଜଷ୍ଟ ଇନ ଏ ନଟ ସେଲ ଇନ ଏ ବ୍ରିଫ ଆକ୍ଚୁଆଲି ଇନ ବ୍ରିଫ ୱି ହାଭ ଡିସକସଡ ଦ ଭେରିୟସ କ୍ୱେଶ୍ଚନ ଆଣ୍ଡ ଆନ୍ସର ପଏଣ୍ଟ ଇଜ ୟୁ ଟୁ ଗୋ ଟୁ ଦ ଟେକ୍ସଟ ଅଗେନ ଇନ ଅଗେନ and you have to scan the particular uh, answer in the poem seta uchi uddeshya tenu eta gote just gote tumku discussion ki tumku tike highlight kariya katha so if you go to the text and read the poem again and again definitely i'm sure you can uh, get the answer and you can write and you